Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, it's raining like mad outside right now, so hopefully the microphone's not picking that up. Uh, but what we are doing is the unboxing and initial review, first impressions, whatever you want to call it, of my latest tire in my ongoing tire series. So initially there was the Michelin Scorcher uh, that came on this 22 Lowrider ST from the factory. Then I ran the Shinko 777. Uh, they both last about 6,000 miles. Shinko was a wee little bit better on traction and bang for the buck, it was better. Uh, so for the next back tire, I got a Pirelli, what is this stupid thing? Pirelli Dragon GT, Dragon GT, brother. Um, so I picked this up. Usually I get everything from Lowbrow Customs, but they didn't have one of these in stock. So I picked up for my friends over there at Summit Racing. Uh, they're right here in Ohio as well. So initially, let's pull the shrink wrap off of this thing. It's packaged really tightly. Even sounds like a drum. Uh, we're gonna pull the shrink wrap off of this thing. We'll take a quick look at it. Uh, give you a first impression of it. And then we're gonna see how she does. So slice the drum on open. Careful not to cut your tire, or yourself. Drop your knife on the floor. And there you have it. The Pirelli Dragon GT. Oh, I'm sorry, Night Dragon. Lots of cardboard inside. All right, so there we have it. All right, it's got a pretty cool tread pattern on it. Nice, decent depth tread. I don't know if you can see that, but there she be. Um, it's the right size. It's reinforced, whatever that means. I'm assuming it means a heavier wall case. Uh, the GT also dictates the heavier wall case. Uh, I went with that because it is a heavier bike and I'm, you know, like the carbs a little bit. So, you know, we don't want to go with the squishy sidewall tire that's going to wear out prematurely. So it's got nice shape to it. It's got nice tread pattern. It has a cool GT embossed in the so edge of the tread and a cool Pirelli logo in this side. So my goal will be to get the chicken strips down till we wear that away. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot to say about it. Uh, I'm going to pull the rear wheel off of this thing, take it to Skidmark Garage, mount it up, and then next week I got a motorcycle trip with some friends down through all the curvy roads of Southern Ohio, Appalachia part of West Virginia, all the way down to Deals Gap, back up through Kentucky and all that jazz. So uh, I will definitely have like a 1500 mile wrap up or sorry, 1500 mile update after that trip. And that will be a good trip to really get the feel for it. Hopefully it'll just be a good trip of traction and not a rain review. But that's all I got for you right now. So check out the playlist. Wherever there's a link to it, I don't really know how that works. Uh, yeah, and check out the follow-ups on this thing, and I will keep you updated as we go with it. That's all I got.